gonna do a get ready with me. I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair because I'm gonna do some videos today, some recording, and I'm also going to a business meeting. So I, I want to do like a get ready with me. I'm here trying to get lotion out of this bottle because my hands have been really dry and also my lips and I want to show you guys the lip balm that I've been using so it's this one from Otter Street Studio it's a lip balm it's an overnight mask and it helps me a lot with with my lip and I already did my I prime my face and my foundation excuse my CC cream and my foundation because it's so light right now it's I'm using the natural artistry one 24 hours fit and the thing is back in Minnesota I used to use a lighter color because it's a lot cooler there it's not that summer or it's the weather the sun doesn't hit the strong but here, I got really tan the whole summer, so I, I should have got a new foundation. I want to do my eyes something different today. So I want to use this Morphe palette. So I want to use some of these brown tones because I literally been so obsessed with brown lately. First, I like kind of like priming my eyes with a little powder, like a space setting powder, and I'm going to use this little brush and put that all over my eyelids. These two browns, it doesn't even look like brown. I'm gonna grab the darker color. I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelids. I usually start from my crease line and just like circle it around. I just want something simple, nothing too crazy. Literally just one shade and it looks nice. And I'm gonna grab the concealer again and see if I can do like a little cut crease. When people, I love watching people do their makeup on TikTok and YouTube. It's so pretty. I want to get better at my makeup as well and just I think just practicing every day and doing it every day I think it's going to get better and I can even get the habit of doing my makeup every day because when I do go to work um, I want to sleep more so I don't really get up and do my makeup or maybe I can go again with that and just like perfect it I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just messing with makeup here around with makeup. I said I wanted something simple and it came out the opposite. But it's okay. We can do something different today. And maybe I can do like out of like a little sparkly one. So let's grab like this brown, the like this lightest one. A lighter one and see how it will look and we can just put it around the eyelid just a little tiny little brush and let's go right here Let 
I'm kind of liking it though. It's really cute. Really blending. Because the more you blend, the better the makeup it is. And then my upper lash, I think I'm going to do some. I think once we add lashes, it's going to look really pretty. So I'm going to do the lashes. I'm going to apply my lashes on when I turn off the camera because I can't, usually I cannot do it when I'm, recording it's just so hard for me so see you in a little bit i'm gonna do my lashes let's grab the black and do like a eyeliner on the lash line upper so this is my look I don't know why my lashes are always so weird. The lashes that I'm wearing is the Ardell Wispies. And I love these. These are my favorite because they're easy to apply. Because I have the other other ones, these other ones, and it was so hard to apply. These are a lot easier. I think they're not that like um Cause it kind of goes down my ankle so it helps me so now we're gonna start on my favorite part is contouring contouring has to be my favorite thing to do with bronzer so i usually like getting a poofy angle brush and my bronzer ours I actually really really like this makeup look you guys it's really cute I think it's really cute to me I sometimes just apply all the bronzer where I want it and then go towards the end and really 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 like blend a lot when I was younger in sixth grade and yeah, fifth grade sixth grade I used to love getting like ready for school. I used to wake up so early to just to curl my hair or put outfits together. So the whole beauty and fashion came since I was very little. Um, most of the time we used to go thrift store shopping with my mom because um, we didn't have enough money to be buying new clothes. And to me as a child, it was really fun going thrift store shopping. And even now, I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do. It made me more creative with my outfits and putting outfits together and making it more like a fun fashion show in my room. I would literally make my room so differently all the time. I'll move it around. I'll put, make like my old clothes in a box and in a corner i would put blankets on top pillows to make it like a little sofa and i used to just sit there and read my book or just around it i'll have my clothes my jacket i'll put like a little like a wall like wall like pins and i'll hang my clothes there as like in the corner it used to be really really cute i kind of remember it still and it's so much fun to look back and how all great how i was so creative made me a better stylist and makeup artist and just not having a lot i think made me a better like fashionable person to put stuff together just being super duper creative I think I have to be so creative with my outfits and change it up a little because most of the time I had a lot but I I would like I would put a lot of outfits or I would cut it or I would make my pants too short you know I would DIY if YouTube was back 
Like if I would have done YouTube when I was very young. Well, I think YouTube just started when I was in fifth grade. So it would have been awesome just to see if I had, like it would have been fun to do videos back then. Because my, my creative side, I think that's where it comes from when I was younger. So I'm applying my powder under my eyelids here and my nose and going upwards. I think it just can give you like a little lift. But yeah, thrift stores are my favorite. I love going to them. I went to a couple here in Georgia, but I haven't found a really good one. So it was nice going back to Minnesota and going to my favorite thrift store because I can always find something. Always. I love donating clothes because, <laughs> especially at church or um, thrift stores because going back when I was younger, it reminds me of the, you know, maybe there's some little girl who loves fashion. It can be really expensive buying so much new clothes, especially, um, you know, your parents are providing for you and they're doing their best. But sometimes, you know, when you find a really cute top at church, you know, because they give clothes or thrift stores, and you find a really cute top, you get really excited and happy. And plus it's not a lot, so. That's why I kind of like prefer to give my clothes away to people or to a thrift store. So yeah, that's my little backstory why I love thrift stories and why I love fashion and makeup. Since I was little, I just sit in the mirror and talk to the mirror like if I'm talking to the, the camera. I would literally just sit there and talk to the mirror, do my makeup or put clothes. I literally, the night used to be my fashion show because I used to organize my closet by color or I would organize it and I used to try it on on the, my little mirror, the long one, body mirror. I used to just look at myself and, you know, listen to the radio. KDWB. I used to listen to that radio station in Minnesota all the time. And I used to have like a little fashion show which like put outfits together. And I think that's why it reminds me a lot. That's why I love doing YouTube because it kind of reminds me of the little girl of myself back then when I used to outfits in front of the mirror or fashion, little fashion shows. And then I'm gonna go with a bron um, bronzer, a blush. I'm using this Utter Street blush here. I think it's a dusty, dusty rose or something like that. I'm gonna use my angle brush as well. But yeah, that's how why I love doing YouTube because it's how I said it reminds me of myself when I was younger. I usually would do all that at night because everyone would be sleeping and I could just listen to my music. You know, um, one thing I kind of like try to put in my mind every day is to enjoy every single day. And being so grateful and blessed because you know somewhere out there in the world someone is like wishing what you have so you know appreciate what we have and being grateful and nothing really think about so much in the future because sometimes we get so caught up thinking oh I can't wait when I get this or I can't wait to get to this moment in my life and just really thinking about it like you know sometimes there was a moment you wanted what you have this moment so just enjoy it and be happy and grateful 
because sometimes time goes by and then you realize I was so focused in the future that I wasn't enjoying the present. So I try to, you know, try to remember that every day. So I don't know how long my camera has not been recording and I've been talking this whole time. I did my lipstick and I did my nose contouring. I don't know when it stopped. I've been so concerned in talking with you guys. So I hope I recorded some of the stuff saying that I was saying, but going back to what I was saying is that, you know, in the, sometimes we're thinking about so much in the future that, oh, I can't wait when I have this or I'm, when I'm there in the moment. Even though you're still working for your goals, for your future, still enjoy, enjoy your presence because in this moment, in the future, you're going to look back and thinking, oh, I wish I would have done this or I would have enjoyed it in that moment. You know, sometimes I look up to my younger sisters because sometimes they do so much throughout their day and, and I need to work on that because I need to work on this, what I'm telling you guys, because this is why I'm kind of like, you know, I want to enjoy every single moment. I want to be able to look back when I'm 40 and being so grateful and happy that I enjoy at this process, at this moment, at my level right now, enjoying my 24, 25 years. You know, I want to do all my fashion and my makeup because when I'm older I'm gonna be old and I'm like I'm gonna you need to enjoy it in this moment you know like if I wanna I need to dress up every day look my best and really do what the things I want to do and not really think about oh when I'm there or when I when I have this or when I have that you know changing my mindset to to live a better like present right now you know to take day by day but also make goals for the future you know and i think that's what i've been learning this whole year i think just enjoying the present enjoying it and also making goals and working towards it and do the action now we're gonna do my hair so what I want to accomplish with my hair today is I want to kind of curl the ends and I also got bangs for fun. I cut them myself. I usually cut my hair by myself or I ask my mom to do my hair because she's good with cutting hair. With... She's been cutting my hair since I was little. so. Yeah. I'm my hair right now. My hair's growing pretty long. This, but the thing is with my hair is when it gets long, it's just so hard to keep it healthy. Which now I'm been trying to put a serum, hair serum, a lot on my hair, so it's keeping it really smooth, and it's helping a lot with the split ends. And it's also, I guess I have dyed my hair so many times this year. It's making it very smooth. This is the serum that I'm talking about. Hair oil serum for silk manageable hair. And it's from Satinique. So with my hair, I'm gonna curl it inwards. wand and then oh I almost forgot getting your heat protection this is my favorite one it's from Satinique and it helps um, against the heat from my hair so you just want to like shake it and just like far away or you can just spray it on your hand and apply it like this it just helps to keep your hair shiny and also because the heat can damage your hair really fast. So, putting that there. 
and I just like like to brush it again and then now grabbing like a little here I think it's a little too high and this is from Hot Tools I got it at Marshalls for $20 a thing last year. So we're gonna curl it inwards. I think how I'm imagining it, it should work out like that, how I want it. So, here's this. And I let it cool. My hair's so dark that you can't even see it. So it's like this in the end. Like we don't want to brush it yet until it kind of cools down. And then... Just curl it a little, just the ends, not too far. I guess we want it that little cute inward curls. So. My camera is about to die, so I hope I can get this. I wish I could like record while my camera is like charging. That would be cool. I wonder if there is a camera like that that you can choose charge it while you're recording that would have been awesome it's actually really fun getting ready and doing your makeup and doing your hair it's fun I haven't done it for a while and I really actually like my makeup it looks nice so I curled all of my bottom hair and I curled it in now I'm gonna curl my bangs. So this is what I'm gonna do. Grab it and just kinda make it like this. See if it works. See how cute that looks? Okay, now do this side. And let's curl this one. Just wanna keep like sliding it down and curling it on the ends so I can get like really ow you gotta be careful because you can get a little oh, burned okay so here it is a little I just want it a little curlier here your hair you can just brush it out with your fingers and you get like this kind of like um, like 50s hairstyle <laughs> see like you can put it on the side something you can just style it how you want it but this is like my little look that I want to achieve today you guys this is my hair look that I did. I curl it inwards and my bangs as well. I can give you a nice little cute look. Really cute look. And I hope you guys like might get ready with me, spending a little time with me. And please like my video for more videos and subscribe if you want to see more videos. 
and if you're new welcome to my channel and I'm so grateful to have you guys here today and thank you very much and see you next time bye